Bonjour! Welcome to this tutorial on the photocard preparation for the French GCSE speaking exam. We're going to look at a foundation paper today, a foundation photocard. So if you want to have a little look at the photo on the screen. And just as a reminder for the instructions to start off with, so you will have some instructions in English. Look at the photo during the preparation period, make any notes you wish, um, on scrap paper basically. Um, your teacher will then ask you questions and here it tells you the topic area um, that you're looking at, the theme that you're looking at. So that's a really useful sort of um, pointer there to tell you what theme, what topic area you're going to be talking about. Um, we then always start with the question qu'est-ce qu'il y a sur la photo? What is there on the photo? And we do that using a palm answer. I would just remind you at this stage that this is the second part of your speaking exam and the part that requires a little bit longer in your 12 minute preparation time. So 12 minutes preparation time in exam conditions um, gives you time to prepare the role play and the photo card. And we've done a tutorial previously on the role play and suggested that that takes a little bit less time to prepare because it does not require any development. This, however, does require development. And that's one of the reasons that we suggest you use a palm structure for the first answer. So, qu'est-ce qu'il y a sur la photo? What is there on the photo? And we're going to answer that using palm. So just as a reminder on my sheet of paper, I'm going to write palm at the top here. And we know as well that across all of these answers um, in the photo card, we need to give our opinion. So I'm also just going to write opinion at the top there. And this can act as my checklist as I'm going through my answers. And across these answers, we also need to develop our answers. So they're um, more developed, more um, well longer answers than the role play answers. So there's another just a reminder at the top there to develop your answers. And these you can tick as you're going along to ensure that your answers are sufficient. OK, so the first question, qu'est-ce qu'il y a sur la photo? What is there on the photo? As you can see in this picture here, we've got four people. Um, we don't need to break it down and say that there are two women and two men. You could do that if you want to, um, but I would suggest that you just say there are four people. So, nice and clearly, number one, sur la photo, il y a quatre personnes, four people. You can use the word Jean for people as well. Person is obviously easier to remember. So on the photo, there are four people. We have answered P of palm, the person. Now we go on to the A for action. Il travaille. They are working. Okay, you could say on the computer, à l'ordinateur. Now, just a reminder at this stage, in English, we say they are working. In French, there is not, uh, there are not two present tenses. So, il travaille means they are working or they work. But the temptation in English is to want to say they are. And so, one way that you can get round this is by using the phrase ils sont en train de. And that's then followed by an infinitive. So it means they are in the process of. And it just makes the rest of your sentence a little bit easier because you just need to use the infinitive here instead of um, a conjugated verb. So, ils sont en train de travailler would also work there. So you've got two options. Either they work on the computer or they are in the process of working on the computer, you could say as well. So that's our action of palm. Then we move on to location. Where do we think they are? And at this point, we can introduce an opinion as well. So, je pense qu'ils sont. Remember, we squash these two words together. When we see que followed by il, it becomes qu'il. Qu'ils sont dans un bureau. I think that they are in an office. That's our location and we can tick that off. And then finally, we're asked 
to comment on their mood. And in the picture, as you can see, the lady is smiling. So we're going to say, using another opinion phrase, à mon avis, in my opinion. So we've now got two opinion phrases. Ils sont contents. In my opinion, they are happy. Now you can see I've added an S to this uh, word content because I'm using the plural, they are happy. Um, that doesn't actually change the pronunciation. So content um, with or without the S sounds the same. But please do bear in mind when you are uh, using adjectives um, that sometimes it does change the pronunciation, especially if you're adding an E for feminine. So if we just said the woman is happy, um, then we would be saying la femme est contente. And because we've got an E on the end of that, you hear the T. So just be aware of your adjective agreement. OK, so that's the mood. And we have now covered all four parts of our palm answer. And in doing so, we have also developed our answer. So we can move on then to question two. Question two on here says, Tu aimes l'informatique? Pourquoi? Pourquoi pas? Do you like ICT or computer studies? Why and why not? So we are being asked directly for an opinion. So we can start off with j'aime. Or of course, je n'aime pas if you do not. J'aime l'informatique. Car c'est utile. Okay, I like ICT because it is useful. And it might be worth just underlining the T in C. Ordinarily, this would be a silent T, but because it is followed by the U of utile, it is actually pronounced. So this sentence goes car c'est utile. And it might just be worth um, reminding yourself of that on your notes. C'est utile. Okay, so I like ICT because it is useful. Mais je trouve le théâtre, but I find drama plus amusant. So we've made here a seesaw opinion. We've got a positive uh, opinion with a reason. And then we've kind of changed our direction here by using mais. But I find drama more, in, uh, more fun. OK, so you've got a balanced opinion, a positive and a negative, and both with reasons. OK, we can move on then as we have given our opinion and some development. We can move on to question three. Question three asks, tu voudrais travailler dans un bureau à l'avenir? Would you like to work in an office in the future? And so we can borrow some of the language from the question here in our answer. We can say instead of tu voudrais, je voudrais. I would like. And again, borrowing the language from the question. Travailler. Dans un bureau à l'avenir. You can see how you've literally just adapted this question into an answer. Instead of tu, we've put je. So tu voudrais travailler dans un bureau à l'avenir. And my answer starts, je voudrais travailler dans un bureau à l'avenir. But we want to develop this answer and we can do so by first of all giving an opinion. Car, or you can of course use parce que. Je trouve ça pratique. Because I find that practical, and be careful, practical in French does not have a C before the T, so pratique. And then we're going to develop our answer a bit further by giving a negative. Mais c'est un peu ennuyeux. 
but it is a bit boring. So we've now given a negative opinion in there as well. Now with this word ennuyeux, that's a very common word to uh, struggle to pronounce in French. What I would suggest actually is that you write in square brackets these tric tricky words, that you actually write how it sounds so that when you read it off in the speaking exam, you've got good pronunciation. The examiner won't necessarily be looking at your notes when they're listening to you speak. So we can write on, we, you, to remind us of how it sounds, on, we, you. Okay, and in this one here, I think it would be um, a really good idea to develop it a little bit further. You could then give some information about somebody else in this question. So we've answered um, if we would like to work in an office in the future and we've given um, opinions about that as well. But I think it would be a good point at this stage to maybe introduce a family member or a friend. So we could say, in addition, ma mère travaille. dans un bureau et elle l'aime. So this gives you an opportunity not only to give a third person but another opinion, a third person opinion here and as you can see I've used l'aime which is the direct object pronoun so even better we've shown off a fancy structure as well. Okay so just to recap then your photo card you have three questions First one will always be what is on the photo. We answer that using palm with an opinion. Second one will usually give you, uh, ask you for an opinion um, on the topic area that's dealt with in the photo. And the third one very often will ask you for a different tense. And then in addition to these um, three questions, there will be two extra questions that the examiner will ask you in the exam. And those are unprepared questions. You could be having a think about what types of um, questions you might be asked if you have time to do so in your preparation time. I'm just going to read you out the answers that we prepared together then. So first question, qu'est-ce qu'il y a sur la photo? Sur la photo, il y a quatre personnes. Ils sont en train de travailler à l'ordinateur. Je pense qu'ils sont dans un bureau. À mon avis, ils sont contents. Numéro 2. Tu aimes l'informatique? Pourquoi? Pourquoi pas? J'aime l'informatique car c'est utile, mais je trouve le théâtre plus amusant. Et finalement, tu voudrais travailler dans un bureau à l'avenir? Je voudrais travailler dans un bureau à l'avenir parce que je trouve ça pratique, mais c'est un peu ennuyeux. Ma mère travaille dans un bureau et elle l'aime. And there you have it. That is how to prepare for your photocard. Bonne chance!